It's week two of the Gateway Celebrity Chef Showdown 2015 and this week MasterChef Season 3 winner Roxy Wardman goes up against Zaba from East Coast Radio's The Zaba Show here in the kitchen at Ebb and Flow. The host of The Zaba Show on East Coast Radio, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Zaba. Gosh, I'm competitive as hell. I just want to win, y'all. <laughs> MasterChef Season 3 winner, Roxy Wardman. Well, you must remember I was on MasterChef and I handled that pressure. Um, Zaba, you don't know your way around the kitchen like I do, so... Roxy, it looks crazy. What's going on here? Um, we're busy getting our starters out. We don't want to keep people hungry and um, it's quite manic. I love it. So, so talk to me about the starter. It looks quite complicated. Um, so it's almost like a caprice salad. So we have a layer of tomato, pickled beetroot, um, basil, mozzarella, prawn, and the layers continue. And it's got a little bit of olive oil, balsamic reduction, some uh, Mexican seasoning, and it's beautiful. I could do really, really well in this industry. I really, really could. The only problem is that I'm melting my Mac off. And that is a very, very, very big problem in my life. I can't melt the Mac off. And you're not in heels today. I'm not in heels! I don't feel like myself. I'm not in heels. It's very nice because I haven't really had prawn before. <laughs> it's your f <laughs> ah, That's amazing. It's the first time eating prawns here at Evan Flow. Saba, you star, my babe. Would you hire me in your kitchen? Tomorrow. Chosen Zaba, no Zalbies. You've broken the friendship. Why you gotta be so? Why you gotta be so chill? <laughs> Team Roxy. Team Roxy. Both of you. For Zaba doing ravioli for the first time, I have to give her a high compliment. It was very, very tasty. I enjoyed the foam. Did that reflect in your score? Oh yeah. Zaba, Zaba is trying to tell people. Can I hear a round of applause for Bernadine and Craig? 23 years of marriage and they have chosen to spend it at Ebb and Flow. I've had a lot of lamb shank in my life and this is one of the best. So, so tasty, the meat's falling off the bone. Let me show you what bullying is because I can tell you don't know. <laughs> what you trying to do, girl? What you trying to do? <laughs> Oh, even up the score. So you, you agree you're lagging behind, huh? You agree? This is Jason McCall. He's the producer of East Coast Breakfast. He's going to come help us taste this meal. Um, how much do you know about food? I like to eat a lot of food. Oh, look at that. It landed on your page first. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Uh, beyond expectation, really. They really, really did well out of the small kitchen. Uh, to produce food like this at this quality and the presentation, I think they did very well tonight. So my charity tonight is Crow, the Centre for the Rehabilitation of Wildlife. Whatever the creature is, and that creature is in danger, take it through to Crow. They rehabilitate it and then release it back into the wild. So I must give a very big thank you to Gateway and thank you to Ebb and Flo for hosting us tonight and giving us the opportunity to make friends, share some laughs, share some jokes and make family and eat food at the same time. So my charity of choice is Asaya 54, which is a a house for abandoned uh, babies and children. Every single week they have a wishlist Wednesday where they're looking for, you know, milk and blankets and toiletries and so forth for, for their children. And um, just I want to thank Gateway and Ebb and Flo for giving me this opportunity to kind of, you know, do something to help their situation and better it. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner by half a point, by half a point, is Roxy Wardman. <laughs> Well done, Roxy. Congratulations. Half a point, Roxy. 
Zaba, Zaba, before you go off. Hang on, hang on, Zaba. What is your reaction to that, that result? Who's the person who scored half a point? Where are you? Let me find you. Let me find you and find your address. 